My life revolves around her. Um, I can't do normal things that people my age do. I can't leave her with anybody. We can't go to any stores. I go to some stores she doesn't want to go into. <laughs> One out of 150 children today across the population is diagnosed with autism. Autism does not discriminate. It affects children of all races, social backgrounds worldwide. Autism is a neurological disorder that affects a child's ability to communicate and socialize. Early diagnosis and intervention increases the chances for a child to reach their full potential and be a part of the community. And it was when I went for the well visit that when the doctor would ask me certain questions, I said, how many words do they know? 10, 20? I said, none. I kept saying, well, by four, she'll talk. By five, she'll talk. By six, she'll talk. She's eight years old now. It's tough on the whole family. Changes your whole dynamics, psychological, emotional, uh, physical, and financial. In every which way, it's just totally, there's a lot of adjustment to be made. Raising an autistic child is a daily struggle that affects families around the world. But many parents still have hope. I think it just helps me to know that something is happening and I can be part of it to help them out and help Sammy. It's hard for me to dream. Like, still now I catch myself saying when she's in college and you know, just things like that. So it's, it's hard to envision anything positive because what if it doesn't happen? Finding a cure for autism. That's the goal of the International Center for Autism Research and Education known as I Care for Autism. I Care is working hard to support and unite autism researchers worldwide while implementing the ABA methodology. Each child's educational program is individualized and their daily progress is recorded and evaluated to ensure their success. Just sitting there and crying hysterically. And I realized that's not really helping him. I need to do something about it. Why me? Um, there's no room for that. There's no room to say that. And I don't think it would be a very good thing to do, a very positive thing to do. Um, that's just how I feel. It was a feeling of helplessness, not knowing, you know, where do we go from there. Uh, it was just such a shock. I Care for Autism strengthens the link between research findings and best practices. Time is of the essence. Researchers need to work together and find a cure. I do hope that there is a cure somewhere, but I wish there would be a magic pill you can give anybody, all those kids. To help. I'd wish uh, that PJ um, could be the happiest that he could be. I would love to hear his voice, um, but if not, I want him to be as good as he can be. Oh my God! Somebody granted me one wish, and questionably, it would just be that my child could communicate with me. So. You know, I would know she's okay. That would be it. I don't 
think at this point I want anything more in life. If I had a wish, it would be for my boys to be healthy and a good, a good life. Friends, family, and what we consider normal life, marriage, children, what everybody wants for their kids. And I just don't think Matthew's gonna have that. I mean, I think he, you know, he'll be happy in his, in his world. That's a big wish. It would be that PJ talks and, and is normal. I Care for Autism funds research, awareness, and education. Children with autism need a fighting chance for their future. Instead of having all these umbrella agencies doing different things and uh, one not knowing what the other is doing, having everything in one database is going to make a big difference in trying to find this cure for autism because everybody will be on the same page. Let's work together and give our children the future they deserve. Your funds will make the difference. I care for autism. Do you? Visit icareforautism.org.